remember telling people that I was going to India and the reactions were odd. Why would you go there? It's dirty. Why would you go there? It's unkempt or nothing to see. Or it's just been a complete surprise every day. Your senses are assaulted from the minute you get on the road to, to the minute you put your head on the pillow. It's seven days riding and it feels like a month. Because we have these signs on the front of our bikes that say Agra to Goa, as soon as people see that, they're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> also find that the women are the most interesting here because they are so excited to see foreign women and engage with you. The exchanges with women uh, along the route is so interesting. It feels kind of undeniable that like I have locked eyes and smiled with the women. It's like, it's like this magical moment. It's like kind of full of mystery and some sort of sisterhood connection or something. Maybe I'm just always the optimist, but there's so much more to look at than trash on the side of the road. Being impacted by things and people and sounds and keeps you in the present, I find, and that's so invigorating and uh, stimulating. If I had any advice to offer somebody from my experience about coming on this trip, I would say just don't overthink it. Just come and do it and know that you'll be okay. I think if you can do that, yeah, it'll be a good trip.